If you've ever had your car stolen, you'll be familiar with that sickening sense of realisation when you walk out of the house in the morning and look at the space where your car should be. Yeah, for a second you think, did I leave it at the pub? And then all of a sudden it dawns on you, no! Some light-fingered tea leaf has done away with your pride and joy. Well, I've been looking at how we can fight back. Well, one way of fighting back is to avoid owning a car built before 1996. According to the AA, these are the cars at the highest risk. Getting inside is child's play for any tea leaf with a bent piece of metal. Nowadays, though, most of us own a car like this with a fancy alarm system, immobilizers, and these doobries, little key chip thingies, which are great. And for that reason, car crime has been reduced by more than half over the last 14 years. But it still represents a £2 billion cost to the economy. So what the hell are these little toe rags nicking instead? They're nicking things from cars, and three things in particular. We'll show you how you can protect yourself. Now, when I was a lad, if somebody was to break into my father's car, they'd be likely to find an old A to Z of South Yorkshire or half an eaten sausage roll. But nowadays... They're more likely to find... A tasty £100 piece of equipment. Now, where is it? A lovely sat-nav. Of course, a bit of common sense will reduce the risk of a break-in. So don't leave sat-nav brackets stuck to the windscreen and wipe off those telltale smeary marks left by the suction mounts. But you still can't legislate against an opportunist coming along, smashing the window and then diving in your glove box, which is where this stuff might just come in. For around £300, you can have this film fitted to your glass, which apparently makes it virtually unbreakable. Sounds like a challenge to me. OK, it's made a right mess of the window, but importantly, it's prevented me from getting in. So you can stop the delinquent stealing stuff from inside your car, but what about stuff on the outside? One type of car crime that's on the rise is number plate theft, with an estimated 1,000 plastic plates being nicked each week. Let me think of the advantages, right? Nick somebody else's plates off their car, like this one. Slap that on your own car, and then all of a sudden you can go through as many speed cameras as you like, get as many parking tickets as you like, and drive through as many congestion zones, and some other schmuck's going to be paying you fine. Not one passerby stopped me from nicking the number plates off this car, which suggests that people still don't realise it's a crime. So, what can you do to prevent it? You could try these. They're called secure plates. They cost £50 fitted and they claim to be theft resistant. Really? Let's find out, shall we? Uh, theft resistant, really. I'm not going home until I take this plate with me. Come on. OK. Well, that kind of prevents me from using those again. Nice one, secure plates. They work. <laughs> so, for 50 quid, your car's identity remains intact. But there's still one more new age car crime you need to be aware of. Catalytic converters. Believe it or not, they contain rare and precious metals like platinum. Now, if you take a cat to your average scrapper, they'll give you up to 200 pounds for one. But unfortunately, the thieves know that too. So I set about trying to remove one from our fifth gear donor vehicle. Well, hello there. As it has a high ground clearance, I thought this was going to be easy. I was wrong. It's not going to cut through anything. I resorted to increasingly desperate tactics. We're just nicking your catalytic converter. Well, we nicked the indicator. The indicator's there if you want to nick that. Clearly, it's only the most determined thieves that are going to be able to nick these things. But nevertheless, there are things you can do to avoid cat theft. What you can do is get one of these kits. This is paintwork, just to demonstrate it. They supply you with a little etching kit, which basically eats through the top of the metal and leaves a mark which the thieves can't get rid of. If this was to turn up at a scrapper's, they should see the number and therefore know that it is a stolen catalytic converter. Right, where was I? Just need to adjust the metal thing on this angle grinder. Yes! I got it! That is the hardest 200 quid I've ever earned in my life. I'll tell you something, if you want to come and nick the cat off my car, you're more than welcome to it. I might just hear you, though, with that lot. See you. <laughs>